Hey guys, I've been working on a video of the Gunsgorn Cannoli, and it is going to be a pistol-only run of Gunsgorn Cannoli, but I wanted to get something out in between uh, now and that video, because that video is going to take a little while, and I wanted to make something, so I decided why not make a ranking video of every single weapon in Gunsgorn Cannoli. So, without further ado, let's rank these bad boys. Number 12. I don't even know if this qualifies as a weapon, but in my opinion, it's the worst one, is the kick. I, I mean, it's not bad. It can, it can help if you kick, like, runner zombies away, and it can help push crowds of zombies that are, like, crowding around you trying to eat you. It can push them away if they're, like, swarming around you and stuff. But it does, like, a sliver of damage, like, the tiniest sliver of damage. And it is really only used uh, to get some room between you and the enemy. And not much else. I'm glad it's in the game, though. And it is really helpful, but definitely not the best. Number 11. This may come as a shock to some, but the bazooka is my least favorite gun in the game. It is really useful at some points, but most of the time it's just really clunky and takes too long and takes too long to reload. Plus, I feel like it kind of sucks that it can only have up to two bullets at a time. I mean, it makes sense because it is a bazooka, but I prefer faster guns and guns that I don't have to reload every two seconds. Also, this gun wouldn't be too bad if it weren't for the fact that it's pretty rare. And whenever you do get this gun, you are trying to like save the bullets for a different time when you might need it. And most of the time, but when you get to the point where you will need it, then you use it and then it's gone. So yeah and it's just really easy to kill yourself with and i've gotten so many suicides in versus mode with this gun anytime the rocket that you shoot hits a wall or an enemy within like 10 feet of you it blasts all over the place and will kill you or at the very least do a lot of damage to you if you're not careful with it it is useful at some times and is a good inclusion and is really fun to use sometimes but Sometimes it is a chore, and you have to be pretty careful not to kill yourself with it. Number 10. This is your standard pistol, but it is good in lots of situations, and is the most versatile gun in this game. The only problem, the only problems I have with it is that it doesn't really do a lot of damage. It does like the tiniest amount of damage, and it doesn't really have a big mag magazine capacity which is which means reloading more often and it just doesn't deal with large groups of zombies very well and it's not good for big enemies such as the chef zombies engineer zombies and the mafia uh, the, the mafia enemies who have the trash can shields and some of them have bats it is however good for shooting down leprechauns from the sky and it's fun to hit their balloons and explode the pieces of balloons all over and then just see them fall into the fire and it's fun to hit other zombies and it's also pretty good to get headshots in it's one of the more precise guns but uh it is a good gun and it is precise but everything the pistol can do ev everything the pistol can do another gun can do better so not the best number nine the Lupra, also known as the Sawed Off Shotgun, is a fairly good gun and is really good for killing runner zombies and football zombies, but can only hold two bullets in a chamber and it's just too short range and it's too slow for me. I also just don't, I, it also just doesn't do very much damage for being a Sawed Off Shotgun. It's still really good for various situations but it's just not my favorite it's really fun to use to destroy large crowds of zombies and it's also fun in versus mode but there is a gun that is basically this but better that i will talk about that gun and that is why this gun is placed so low number eight the molotov this item is really good for huge crowds in a on a platform below you or a crowd of zombies a distance in front of you but if they are getting right in your face this thing is practically useless because you will die because its radius of fire is is huge and it will burn anything in its radius plus it can be used in water which is basically the whole sewer level 
the whole sewer levels and a good amount of the bridge level if you uh, if you you try throwing it at zombies in the water it will just plop into the water water and won't do anything so this is good in some instances and it is really satisfying to use if you use it at a perfect time and it can burn huge groups of zombies but it is inferior to the other throwable weapon in many ways, which we will talk about later. So let's get into the next weapon. It may shock you why I place this weapon so low, but the weapon I'm talking about is the flamethrower. Let's look at the positive. The flamethrower is super satisfying to use. It can kill huge groups of enemies at a time. It does lots of damage and almost instant kills most enemies in the game. Uh, it almost kills most enemies in the game. It only takes a few seconds to almost instant kill most enemies, aside from bosses, and bigger enemies like chefs and football zombies. But, uh, the bad, that is, oh, and it also almost kills them if you use it right, and now with the bad, it is really rare, and it is only found in a few spots in the game most of which are areas where the flamethrower is very useful i'll give it that but up close and personal to kill enemies with but you have to get so up close and personal to kill enemies with it and if i don't kill them you run out of ammo you are dead plus in this game i usually like to keep my distance especially with big crowds even though big crowds are the main thing this gun is used for number six the tesla no not the car this gun is used is fun to use and a delightful gun it's like the flamethrower where you have to use it where you can use it to kill big groups of zombies but with this gun you don't have to get as close because there's a li little range where if you do it locks onto the enemy then you can move wherever and it still will hold on to the enemy since it locks on you can go to another level of platforms above or below the enemy to kill them with this weapon without j them just walking away like with a flamethrower plus this gun and does slightly more damage than the flamethrower and flamethrower and it's just cool it's so fun to just go up to an enemy and shock them until they disintegrate the, the thing is this gun is pretty short range despite being longer than the flamethrower and it's just really hard to get to ammo for this because it is only in a few levels and isn't ideal for every situation still though i really enjoy using this gun from time to time it's really satisfying to use the fifth best weapon in this game is the tommy gun this gun is just so fun to use it pushes enemies back when you shoot them with it rapidly it is really fun to shoot each magazine contains a generous amount it is it is really long range it has lots of ammo over many levels and it is one of the most common guns in this game now for the reason it's only at number five instead of the top three it doesn't do a lot of damage if you if you use this gun on an enemy it will eventually kill them but you have to use it at like half a mag just to kill a strong uh, you have to use like half a mag just to kill a stronger zombie sh such as a chef and it's just really not precise it, it can be used for precise things but later guns are better at being precise and other guns are faster and uh better at being a full auto gun however i still love this gun and it is fun to use all the time number four grenades in this game are really good and super fun to use they are good for throwing at big zombies and huge groups of zombies and just all around really useful they are also really fun to use in boss fights and in versus mode i love going to the top platform in versus mode and just chucking grenades everywhere grenades are a good time and you can throw them on on water and they still explode and do lots of damage and they can ricochet off walls which is a good feature that i like that they added in the game grenades are fun but they're not the best and have a few flaws such as the blast range is a bit small and they have caused me so many suicides that it felt like total bullshit that it was my fault and that i shouldn't have died to that but 
still a really fun uh still a really fun weapon to use and i just love throwing these at huge groups of zombies number three early breaking into the top three we got the magnum which is just so delightful to use it's by far the best handgun in the game and is the most precise gun i love getting headshots with this thing and shooting leprechauns off their balloons using this gun to pop balloons is mm, so satisfying this gun does so much damage and is introduced really early on, which is weird considering how good it is. And it is pretty common, so I can use it often. It is also fun for boss fights to shoot the boss in the head and get lots of damage in. The only thing I don't like about this gun is it only holds one bullet at a time. Despite this, I love this gun and getting headshots with it is satisfying as shit. And it's really... and is a feeling that more people need to experience. Number two, the silver medal for this ranking goes to the shotgun. The shotgun is the definitive short range gun of this game. It is basically just a better version of the sawed off shotgun. It, uh, it does lots of damage, lots of damage has a longer range than the Lupra, reloads really fast, is good for killing huge groups of zombies, and it has a, uh, and is all around just a really good fun and fun gun to use. I love killing bigger zombies with it, and you can use it really often, and in versus mode, this gun is a treat. I really, really, the only drawbacks are that it only holds two bullets at a time in both get shot at once so you have to reload every time you shoot but other than that this gun is really cool and definitely the best short range gun in this game now guys get ready for the number one slot in this ranking drum roll please it's not drum roll but okay the best weapon in gun scorn cannoli is the maxim it's basically just a better Tommy gun, as it shoots faster, does more damage, is really precise, reloads way faster, is fun to use, it is really satisfying to knock back zombies with it. Every feature of the Tommy gun, this gun improves on and does better. This gun is so fun to use, I love how fast it is, it is good to get headshots with, I just love getting headshots with and boosting the zombies backwards. I and is improves and does so much better than the Tommy gun. This gun is so fun to use and I love how fast it shoots. And whenever I get interrupted to reload, it reloads smoothly and fast. It is a, a good it is good and is my favorite gun in Gunscorn Cannoli. It's just all around good and fun. Did I mention using this gun in Gunscorn Cannoli versus mode is an absolute treat. I love this gun, and it will be my favorite for a while. Until I play the second game, and again, and, uh, one of the guns in there is probably gonna maybe be better, but whatever. So, I hope you guys liked this video. It's really fun to play this game again and revisit all the weapons and everything I liked about them. Before I do a run with only pistol because I will not be able to use any of the other guns when I do only pistol. See you guys next time, and peace.